Hey guys, so I want to show you what I'm working uh, right now and I'm going to kind of uh, give you a whole tutorial. Uh, this is going to be a part two of this video. So let me show you really quick what I have here. So I have here, uh, uh, as you can see, I'm working with the rotary right now. So I have this timbre. So this is a bunch of different elements just around it. And I want to make a tutorial of how I did this on Illustrator. So you can have it and this file is going to be on the description below so i did a big mistake uh with one of the tumblers uh, i was working on uh, i forgot to put one zero because the speed that i like to use for these ones specifically this specific tumbler is 300 millimeters per second but i i did a boo-boo so i forgot to put the speed uh, correctly and I put 30 millimeters per second instead uh, 300 and of course I messed this up so that was actually my tester but the first test that I did to make sure that the wrap goes around was covering tape so I'm gonna show you how I cover this in tape what I did on the process and basically uh, the, the big difference was that I messed this one up. So what I'm doing right now is 80% power, blue light laser, 300 millimeters per second, one pass, 100 lines. 100 lines is enough for what I need right now. Uh, so it's like about 30 minutes, 29 minutes project. So let's wrap one on tape first and let's give it a try to see how this go. Uh, and yeah, I mean, things happens you know you, you gotta test and sometimes happens I mean doesn't matter how many times you've been working on lasers sometimes you're just going to mess something up and that's how it is don't don't feel bad okay so these are the tumblers that we are going to engrave uh, these are straight so they're the easiest uh, another thing that is really cool on these ones is the bottom it's just silicone so if you don't want the bottom you can remove it and put your brand also too it has a little brand there these are croftons but still you have room to put your website and stuff like that so i'm gonna put this back and this is what we're gonna do just remove the lid so <clears throat> i use the painter's tape and you just want to cover basically the whole area so let me show you here what i'm gonna be doing so i like to work in in some padding so I don't scratch this. So just grab a piece of this and I usually kind of put one next to the other and make sure that it's aligned. So I just start going with this. Doesn't need to be perfect, but as better you can place this there, it's gonna be more even. So there you go, part one. Overlap a little always. Part two. And you wanna make sure that it's not like a big bump. If you are OCD drive, use a little knife and just cut it. <laughs> Whatever works better for you. Uh, sometimes we don't have the time to do it, so you just rip it off but whatever there we go and this goes the other one it was really skew it doesn't really matter much now some painters tape are really thin and Depending your settings, you might, you might mark the steel a little bit on this paint or the coating. So be be careful with that. And if you want, well, you can always put double. So <clears throat> this is cover. It's a little bit more tricky when it's a little bit tapered. Uh, it's not impossible, you just need a little bit more practice how to do it. When it's tapered, I usually go in diagonal and just wrap it all the way up. Um, now that you have this, remember, 
you want to know your uh, a perimeter uh, in reality will be you know the whole your conference no perimeter but I have these tapes that on my website I will put the link below they're super easy and they're really inexpensive so this is 23 centimeters 0.5 that will be 235 millimeters and if you work it on inches you have it here this on inches is 9.25 inches so um i put it on my laser i forgot to record this part so i'm just kind of redoing everything for you guys um so i put this on the laser level it and run it so the settings that i use on my f1 ultra for this was 25 percent power uh, and i use 400 millimeters per second that's what i input I didn't feel like the 400 millimeters per second was actually going through the rotary and I do not remember what was the limit, but that's what I did. One pass, 100 lines. And it turns out super good. I was able to confirm the line where, you know, uh, the wrapping was going around to make sure that it was good. Uh, right now I have one already set with a file to send it. So. We're gonna send this and see how that goes. Okay, so we're gonna set this up. I have this to level on the bottom so the weight doesn't push it. And I'm using my, uh, in this case, I'm using the chalk grips because this is a really tiny opening. So I'm gonna close this a little and put it there. And I'm gonna push against my rotary to make sure this uh, flush and let's call it level in a way. I'm tie this. There we go. So I have my note here. My note was 235 because that's what I'm doing, just to make sure. And then what I like to do is I like to rotate these to make sure it rotates, you know, as flat as possible and there is no wobble. There is always probably a little bit of wobble here and there. You know, it's, it's normal, but you should try to avoid like big, big, big wobbling up and down. Right, that's pretty much good enough for me. So what I wanna do right now is I wanna show you my settings here. So I wanna do it blue light, 25. And I want to do the 400. So that's what I want to do on this. Now, if you want to do and be more conservative, you can always do something like maybe, let's call it 10 or 15. You don't need a lot. You just need to make sure that this actually goes in place. So I'm going to hit framing. So now that is the framing going, you see here. that you are inside the area and I know that I'm perfectly aligned because I'm using also my alignment system I will put it in the description below it's super easy come with the screws and everything so that's where I want it so I'm not going to use 30 more minutes on this one because then I gotta do the right one but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the camera here and because I know how everything was from the beginning let's do it like this I'm going to go completely on the real one which is this so now that I have this one here, same thing, I push against the rotary, the chuck, and I'm tidying this up. I know, I know, I have a tool somewhere. I keep losing it. So now, again, I'm gonna check that this is level and goes as I expect this to go. So that's how I want it. So I just check how level this is. 
just for shits and giggles I'm gonna frame to make sure that I'm in the area still so that's pretty good to me so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to my settings the ones that I supposed to be using okay so now that I have everything set I'm gonna put my settings so the power is going to be 80 percent the speed that I'm going to use is 300 one pass 100 uh, 100 lines per centimeter so I'm gonna leave it like that now I'm gonna go and hit process now I'm gonna wait for a second here because it's processing there it is now start so it's here in the laser I'm gonna put the camera here for you guys to see how I mess this up again I hope not so there it is and another thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my little shield here so kind of protect a little bit and just give it a go All right, this is over, so this is done. Let's take this one out and see how it came out really quick. All right, so this actually looks pretty good. Let's put the camera here. This looks pretty pretty good so i'm gonna watch this and see you guys in a minute so there you have it guys um it's a quick tutorial i'm gonna put the second part because it's going to be a separate video and this video is going to be designing for a full wrap so i want to show you here how to lay out your stuff test your tumblr do the settings and put it on remember the settings are a reference point you need to find the settings that work for the tumbler or the mug or whatever you're using that you have this is not a specific setting for everything and also if you're using a diode laser the settings will be different based on the color so be aware of that so i'm gonna be putting the other video soon i'm working on how to do everything easier for you and something that i can explain i want to use illustrator as you know i work with illustrator but the technique and everything is going to be easy to apply to any software like literally any software including extra query space or library um the file as always is going to be below in the descriptions give us a thumbs up ring the bell so you get a new update for the following video uh and as always fire the laser Bye.